Next, define the rough and finish machining of the vent slots. An eye rough and eye finish operation must be defined. Add a new eye machining operation. In the Solid Cam Manager, right click Operations, Add Milling Operation, and select 2D Eye Machining. The Eye Machining Operation dialog box is displayed, and the default eye rough is used for technology. On the Geometry page, click the New button to define the machining geometry for the vent slots. For this operation, the geometry is defined as three closed pockets. In the SolidWorks graphics area, pick on the top edge of the largest vent slot contour as shown. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to confirm the chain selection. Repeat these steps for the remaining two vent slots as shown. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection. Switch to the tool page and click the Select button. In the Part Tool table, select tool number 6, the 1.5mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SolidWorks Graphics area, select the lower face of the main pocket as shown, and then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and select the bottom edge of a vent slot as shown. Click OK to confirm the machining depth definition. On the Technology Wizard page, you can view the cutting conditions. The wizard automatically calculated one step down to achieve the total depth with an ACP value of 2. Because the step down row is painted green for good stability, a machining level aggressiveness of 3 is used, which is the assigned default level of the tool. On the Technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. In the Offsets area, Set the wall island offset to 0.06 millimeters. On the link page, the helical entry into the pocket will be performed at a ramping angle of 2.4 degrees, which is one tenth less than the safest value of 2.5 when using classic helical cutting conditions. Name the operation iRough Vent Slots. Click Save and Calculate. and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. The tool performs a helical entry into each of the pockets, followed by the pocket roughing toolpaths. Close the Simulation Control Panel with the Exit button to display the iMachining Operation dialog box. Now, define the Finish Machining for the vent slots. Create a copy of the current eye machining operation by clicking the Save and Copy button. The current eye machining operation dialog box closes and the copied operation automatically opens. Click the drop down menu under Technology and change the operation type to Eye Finish. The copied machining geometry, 1.5mm tool, and milling levels from the previous eye rough operation are used for this eye finish operation. On the Technology Wizard page, the default cutting conditions are used with a machining level aggressiveness of 3. On the Technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, the wall island offset is now set to 0. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the eye machining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation Eye Finish Vent Slots. Click Save and Calculate and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the eye machining toolpath at work. The tool feeds down into each of the vent slots and finishes the walls by removing the 0.06mm offset. Now that the cam part is complete, simulate the toolpath for the entire cam project using Solid Verify. Click the Operations header in the Solid Cam Manager to simulate the toolpath for the cam project in its entirety. Then, switch to the Solid Verify tab in the Simulation Control Panel. Click the Play button to view the cutting tools as they move through the solid stock material and machine the cam part.
Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining operation dialog box. To close the completed cam part, right click the cam part header in the solid cam manager and choose close from the menu. At this stage, step 6 is complete and the exercise has come to an end. If you have not followed along, Apply and practice the procedure shown in these videos to machine the counter bores and vent slots using a small tool in iMachining 2D.